Okay, guys. Some of you are saying you didn't expect to stream. Well, expect to unexpected and expect a really strange haircut tonight. Guys, I've got a really fun idea. Some people would see that picture, it doesn't matter. Anyway. <clears throat> Guys, I don't know what system you're using, but you might see a poll right now uh, on the the old stream. Um, do you think I'm wearing a grey night t-shirt, a grey night jumper, a grey zaffir out? Now right away, grey night t-shirts like right at the back, are you sure guys? Grey night jumper, what the one I wore today, you really think I would make it that obvious? Grey Zaffir out. I might have stuck on the Zaffir out one, you know, just to go out on the bike. You know, it's it's one I just wear about the house, really. I like to preserve the grey night. I don't, th don't think I'd be wearing that. Grey jump. Are you sure, guys? Yes, it's raining. Guys. Guys. In last place is Grey Knight T-shirt. You're wrong. I didn't, I didn't want to, it, it wasn't meant to be that short, but quite, quite, quite short, I do, I do like it short, um, I do like it short, uh, I have been wearing a cap, so it's, it's a wee bit flat, I know, normally it's really full, do you want to see the back and the sides, now what I like about having a short haircut is it's bald everywhere, so you don't really see the bald bit. Cakes, whose opinion I trust, says it does look fantastic. It does look fantastic, but I think it might that might be the shorts we've seen in a long time. Uh, I do like it short now and again. I like, I like to just go a bit, get it nice and short <laughs> when you get in the finish. Fucking finish you, you can't. Um. That's no TOS. To finish somebody is uh, it's actually a wee bit kinky. So it is TOS, you're right. Um, no, it means to finish somebody here in Glasgow means to like destroy them with part with really funny things like a bun, a bun. Like that. No bun, a burn. A burn. 
I'm on for trucking, but you know in about five minutes I'm just going to jump on the fucking dead by daylight, man. It's getting who? No, come on, let's get trucking, come on. Let's get trucking. Ladies and gents, oh, fucking. Just like, get a bit of shape or something. Ladies and gents, what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to get, there's some superstars I want on. I had a picture in my mind, everybody. Picture this. Now, I'm not asking these people, these fellow streamers, to put on a performance of some kind. But I pictured it in my mind. Dead by Daylight. No, the night. Dead by Daylight with... Dando. Cater Cakes. And the supposedly... According to her, very shouty, aggressive and sweary, in her own words, we clear here. Each of those three people are renowned for being bold as brass. I'm renowned for being bold as brass. We need a fifth kind of submissive person, perhaps a Hollis. Now, now see if it was fucking Sheila, Cater Cakes, that would be fucking wild. I actually thought about Sheila, I actually did think about Sheila earlier. Sheila? Dando, Cater Cakes. Now, I've not played with uh, We Claire here before, but according to her, she's extremely aggressive in terms of her language. And she says, be warned and all that. I'm like, me. Me. Um, and uh, Sheila... Sheila's, like myself, no backwards and coming forwards. I'm no backwards and coming forwards. Sheila's no backwards and coming forwards. Dando's no backwards and coming forwards. Cater Cakes is no backwards and coming forwards. And Dando is no backwards and coming forwards. If I, did I say Dando twice here? Mind you, when I've played we. Alright then, Cater Cakes, Sheila, Dando, we clear here, and me. Five people who are on the backwards and coming forwards. Um, the thing is, it's not like we're playing it among us. I just thought, it, it, it was we clear here who, who got me thinking about this whole aggressive sort of way. I, you know, I don't even notice it. I haven't even noticed it before. Um... Um, but I was also thinking, could be good. To, could be good. You're muted. Says teaspoon. That's a ban. Yep, that's a ban right away. Um, thanks, care cakes. Thanks. Thank you very much. Um, so instant ban. Saying I'm muted when I'm not. Instant ban. By all means, if you think there's been a mistake, uh, go to the the unban request page. I have unbanned a number of bad people the day I'm like Pontius Pilate I'm like Pontius Pilate because I cycled past a church earlier and you know what the sign said on the outside it was a it was like a U-turn sign and it said God allows U-turns I thought, I thought, yeah, God allows U-turns, and this is God, and I allow you, I allow U-turns, I allow U-turns.
sometimes. Casey Mills Davis and Duftine spend as a survivor. Thanks for the subs. Good to see you too. Arkestry, thanks for the subs. That's a two pregnancies worth of time together. Arkestry, thank you very much for the tier fucking two. Listen, thanks for the tier two, but can I just say to all you tier two and tier threes, see if times are tight, you know, we're all coronavirus and all that. It's already a downgrade and all that. I understand, don't worry. Don't worry about it. Um, Spendius the Survivor. Uh, Lemmy Barnett, Jamie thinks the subs and bits. I like your new Discord banner, courtesy of our Chris Abet. Can I have a shout out for Chris Abet who never actually streams, so don't bother actually. actually. Chris Abet, thank you very much for doing that. Um, Mac, thanks for the sub. Any decent pre PC pre-builds or advice for someone who wants to get into streaming indie games? Um, no really, no really. No really. People, I, I I got my computer off the scan, but I've fucking replaced half of it. I've replaced half of it. Um, I've got a new new processor, new graphics card, swapped to memory. Um, things like that. Um, I had problems with, it and I had to I had to get sent back. Raynor says, the chat is so fast, <laughs> laughing my ass off. <laughs> How does he read all this? Raynor's like fucking on the deck, man. Just fucking pissing. Look at that fucking hell. I forget. You know, I just, oh my God. <laughs> Your fucking hair's back. There's nothing you can do. That, that's not going to do anything. Your fucking hair's all the way up there. Oh dear, that, that emote. There's nothing you can do, man. Just leave it. You look like a baby. You're the hell of a fucking baby. Um, when I moaned about it on Twitter, some people said you should have went to Overclockers or something like that. Can kind, of, kind of quite remember, but um, I don't know. Uh, it's really just how much money you're willing to spend. I decided two years ago, fuck it, all in, all in. They fucking about this time. I said to myself, they fucking about this time. They half measures. You're getting. You're getting fucking 64 gig of RAM. Fuck it. 64 gig of RAM. Fuck them. You will no longer. You're not going to be one of these fucking cunts. You're not, you're not going to be the guy that you were before. And I know I've said this a million times. Where everybody else has got something better than you. No. You've just been on a fucking book tour. You've just done three fucking books since the fucking book tours. You had the fucking live shows. A telly fucking series just there. Well, actually, no there. No. You're going to take some of that money you've got and you're going to fucking spend it, you fucking miserable cunt. You're going to buy a fucking computer where you've got a telly series coming up to make, right? So you've got to edit 4K video on that. So you're going to spend the bastard and fucking money on a fucking decent computer to edit the stuff and also for streaming. In fact, that was two years ago. I can't remember. But I said, I said to myself, you've gone all in. There are fucking wanes on that internet. There are wanes on that fucking internet who have got better fo a better phone than you. They're driving fucking motors about that are better than your motor. I don't have a motor, but you know what I mean. Wayne's out there. Now, stop fucking about here. This is your job. If you choose to, to get into this. Now, stop fucking about and spend the money. You don't buy any fucking clays. 
You've got like two pairs of fucking denims for the last three fucking years. You don't drink, you don't smoke, you don't do fucking anything. You don't have a coke habit. Zero. Nothing. You have no expensive tastes. You don't, n nothing. You buy yourself a decent computer and honestly, go daft. Get yourself the fucking RTX 2080 Ti, which is really, really big at the time. Get yourself 64 gig of RAM so that these fucking dickheads are always like, oh, what did you just get that for? You should have got this. You should, so that they're going, ah, that, that's a bit much. <laughs> There's no need to get that. 64 gig. Oh, that's a lot. It's my fucking, it's my time to shine. Do you know that pain in my chest might be? Me going like that? My fucking... I've been going like that with my right horn. That's what it is. You know how I've been, you know how I've been going like that now again? Fucking me, I couldn't. I've been stabbing the fucking... That's why it fucking hurts. You got a bruise there? That was nearly my nipple. You nearly got me chucked off. You nearly got me chucked off. That was nearly a nipple. That was nearly a nipple. Lot of, <laughs> lot of people in the chat right now extremely excited about that. Uh, just calm down. Just a man. There's many men out there. Not a lot of men like me, mind you, but there are a lot of men out there. Um, lack of sweat, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much, mate. Ketarex. Yes, Lado. Thanks for the sub. Yet another Dan, thanks for the sub. Um, Matt, thanks for three quid. Nice hair, lovely hair. Spraggy, thanks for the 24 month three sub, mate. Thank you very much. Two years of laughs and great haircuts. There's been a lot. Troops. I so what was what was thinking was I am I am swallows. Thanks for the thanks for the two hundred bits, tw twenty seven Ross, thanks for the sub. Can I get a, everybody get fucking done for Alicia, please? Everybody get done. Everybody get done. Do you want to be a hero hen? I'm trying to ru I'm trying to ruin my catchphrase. See when I was cycling tonight. I was waiting at the traffic lights between Great Western Road, not Byers Road, and that road that kind of goes past, what is that, primary school? Was it, what's, what's, the, what's the kind of big crossroads? The, the one, the one that, the, there's University Avenue, and then the one that goes, what's that one? Byers Road, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Maybe to know. Is it Hindland Road? Hybra Road? Maybe it's Hybra Road. I think it's Hybra Road. Um, a motor that had already passed me stopped in the street and I heard, Lemme! Lemme! From behind me. And I turned around it and in the darkness I just saw these guys like kind of waving at the motor. I went, alright, they'd stopped. I went like that and I turned to face forward because I was waiting at the traffic lights and I heard one of them shout right out, what's the problem? I turned around, saw, I didn't really know what to do. Um, you know, you don't, what, what am I to do? The guy wasn't right there in front of me. Even if he was, what am I to do? Did I repeat it back to him? Did I go like, what is the problem? <laughs> If I did that, he'd be like, oh, that's, that's not in the sketch. That's not in the sketch. So what I, what I normally do is this. <laughs> I'll see you later, all right? So 
so what I'm trying to do now is ruin my catchphrases so that they've asked for them again. Um, Mountain Snail, thanks for the sub. Could you insult my other half, Louise? This fine, the Louise. You leave socks lying everywhere. Trout and Johnny Ryan. Kafka thanks for the subs. Echo side blame. Thanks, Johnny. Kafka, Smee, Ronan thanks for the subs. Uh, got some weights at the start of lockdown. Seen some benefits, but nowhere near as strong and veiny as you are. Maybe one day. I'm just naturally, naturally veiny. That's that's why I it's all these like big veins and all that. I don't that's why I don't need my heart to pump a lot. Because of gigantic, gigantic veins. Gigantic veins. Um, my, my heart just needs to go like that. It doesn't need to go like that. It just goes like that. And it just flies around. Doesn't it, it just it needs just one beat every now and again. It free wheels or in like a nice big shoot. Boy there we buy a trucking oh dear shot smith. Cater cakes, you're always saying things about how I don't know how the body works. This is my body and I know how it works. But it's not the big kid. Oh, it's on it's on the it's, it's a fucking scam. Stop that squeaking. Who's in there about a trucking? Oof, that bald spot. It's not a bald spot. It's not, see all that? See all that? See all this? That's not a bald spot. That's it's bald everywhere. It's bald everywhere. Right? It's all bald. It's a it's a trick. It's, it's a haircut. It's a it's a trick haircut. Listen, see if I had a bald spot. I don't care, I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. I don't care. Let's see. Right. Right. Can you see that? No, you can't. Eh? Let me you know, growing a November beard, I don't take part in, in things. Rosebury, hiking, thanks for the subs. Thanks for keeping me laughing throughout the pandemic, you're welcome. No use, thanks for 200 bits. Was late to my seminar this morning so I could hear your deep chat before Marlborn, but honestly, it was worth it. Love your wisdom, thank you very much, mate. I meant every word. I know, I know I was echy this morning, but I meant every word. Shrimp Nubs, thanks for tier 2, 23 month 3 sub. Jamie, trombone. Cheggy, I am bareface, thanks for subs and bits. Get a hat on. No, 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 no. The USB port fiasco fucking raging. I'm going to play American Truck Simulator right now. Bongo kept me deck, thanks for subs and 3 quid. Bought a PC at Overclockers this week, future gaming PC won't. Thanks for the streams. Bought a PC at Overclockers this week. Future gaming PC want. Thanks for the game. Is this, is this what is this a new way of speaking? Where the word want is. Is a want a thing that you want? Is a want now a noun? Is this a, is this a new tweaking of the language sort of thing? Oh, that is a total want. That's a want. This is such a want. What do you mean? Well, I want it. Therefore, it's a want. Is that is that what you mean, Mideku? 
Nah, it was autocorrect. Thank fuck for that, man. Because see if that's what I was going to be looking forward to in 2021. See if that's what was coming up. And top of find your happy, find your fucking fit and all that shit. See if oh, find your want. Oh my God, that's going to happen, isn't it? That is going to happen, isn't it? Find your want. That is going to happen. Find your bald spot. Disaster. Disaster. We have we have found it. I don't have a bald spot. I don't actually have a bald spot. Ask my chat. And my chat. Embrace it. I'm not embracing it. Nothing to embrace. Is that po that's my point though? There's nothing there. <laughs> Get too far. I'm away. You come back here. No, I'm away. Bye. Oh. That 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 clip, everybody. We, we, that that was fuck. I need to disaster. I need to watch that. I need to watch that. Right, let, let me move me out the way. I'll put me right up here. Uh, Twitch TV four slash. Let me. What a fucking clip. No, I know right now. No, that's me. Uh, videos. And popular clips view all. And top twenty four hours. Where fucking is man? You're going to get knocked down. You're not cool. Right. This is... This is... I'm already dead. Right? That was Jojo shouting. Jojo's already left. I've... Have I left or am I dead? I've left, haven't I? I've left. I'm out. That's right. This is disaster. Oh, right, disaster. Don't go yet! No, go, you're going to get knocked down, you're not... Fucking... It's care cakes that's coming as a... As a, the Huntress. He's, 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 he's injured. One hit and he's done. And he's too far away for the fucking... The, the, the exit bit. If she fucking hits him, he's going to be on the ground. He's not going to be able to crawl. Crawl. He's not going to be able to fucking crawl. You know, you, you, if, you, if you're gonna if you're gonna do the whole tea bagging, you want to do it right next to the bit where, see if you get hit, you fall over the finish line, and they kind of get you. But he was like fucking miles fit. He's not miles fit. Look at the difference of you in more than uh, fifty years younger. Get guy, get a wee bit closer. Disaster, you there? Oh yeah, right. <laughs> but the quality's terrible. Just a wee bit closer, so you fall in it. No one, don't show hit you with an axe. I have before. Right, here we go, right, no. check it out, right, watch. Out right, disaster, don't go yet! No, go, you're gonna get, you're gonna get knocked down, you're not close Go, go, Daz, no team Get, guys, get a wee bit closer. Look, I'm like, disaster, you there? Oh, yeah, He's insane. He's insane. Get a wee bit closer so you fall in it. No one, don't show hit you with an axe, I have before. No, 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 it's too risky. A wee bit closer. Daz, please, don't, don't gear it. Don't gear it. A wee bit closer. That's it. Run! I hear him laughing. I hear him laughing, am I? A wee bit closer. That's it. Run! What uh, Jojo mentioned and what I noticed after it, watching the video is I duck out the fucking way. I duck out the fucking way. I, 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 I dodge out the way in the video. You see us? <laughs> Fucking excellent. Oh, nicely done. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. It's whisper stream time. Um, I just um, Hedgley thinks of three hundred bits. Buy some sweeties for myself. Cheers, mate. Neil Scub.
a lost sheep return to the flock or a lamb to the slaughter returning to the flock Mike Jono you're welcome mate thanks for the sub Myers iconic Gilbert Yogurt thanks glad she's like the haircut Error Cam Hawks Evermore thanks for the subs and Fiverr use Steam from the same computer you play your games on aye yeah got a, it's got a lot does a lot Crimson Flexi thanks for the subs any tips for your trucking adventures? Just drive in a straight line where you need to. That's my tip. Ian, a Glen Michael plan. I hear what, I hear what, I hear what. <laughs> Most of you won't know what the fuck that was. Ian, do you get it? Ian, do you get what I just did? Job, Cunty, Mark Lander, Nora's Day. David Steele thinks the subs. I'll want you, your dick. Oh, aye, aye, aye. Fucking horrific. Right, sorry, I'm just, I'm just, I need to, I can't read out the notifications unless it's on the same page. I can't scroll while I'm driving. So I need to just get, get to that stage. Um, Ian, thanks for the sub. Can I get a shout out for the Disaster versus Dylan VR boxing match happening this weekend? Yes. Everybody, if you're listening to Disaster talking right now, he'll tell you all about it. Seamus, Liam Echelon and Lieutenant Custard, King of Goddamn Fields, thanks for the subs. Not many haircuts left for you, no, but another 20, I'd say. Cardi, it's your piece, thanks for the subs. Paul Williams, Gold Vink, Ariton, thanks for the subs. The glam's been taken, I'm so sorry. Mate, that's it, that's it, everybody, that's it. That's it. Toddy, thanks for the sub. Tyrannosaurus. Oh, lockdown two here in Manchester. Yep. Lockdown two, everybody. Coming to England. Full, full lockdown. Full. I can't be fucked with the steering wheel. It's just a, it's just a big effort. It's just a big, big effort now. Just want to relax. Just want, just want to sit back. We're gonna lock down to. I, I came out with that part of first, by the way. The lockdown two part, Electric Avenue. We're gonna lock down to. Right, go to go a wee bit. That's that really? Right, here we go. Here we go, trips. Um, Bull Wallet, Dunk and Toddy. Tyrannosaurus, Daft King, Panda. Pineapple, Junkie and Tim, thanks for the subs. Fix your t-shirt. My t-shirt's fine, don't worry about it. Tim and Clam, thanks for the sub. You spoke Gaelic, did I? Finn, Buster, Simpson, Kevin, Spunky, thanks for the subs. What mod are you using to make this game look better? Um, I don't know if I'm. I might be using some, there is some realism mod or something. I can't, I can't remember what it is. I might be. It's one, of the, it's one of the ones where, if you look online, best mods for American Truck Simulator or Euro Truck Simulator 2, and you'll get something that looks like somehow better graphics or something. Hell a lot of rain. I mean lack of rain I mean. Um let me go to graphics. No, let me go to let me go do that. Options. I'm trying to I want to put a wee bit of rain in trips. A wee bit of rain. A wee bit of rain. Rain probability? About 60. You light flashing on my phone. What could that be? Alright. Americans use meters per mile. No, they don't. How's it going, everybody? Everybody alright? Yes. 
Nice haircut when you're going back to get it finished. <laughs> Every time I get my haircut in that fucking place, they say the same fucking thing. I walk in with a mask. There's somebody in there that's just had their hair cut with no mask on. There's signs saying you must wear a mask. Second I sit down, the guy, the barber who's got a mask on, says, you don't need to wear a mask. It's all right. And I'm like, no, no, it's fine. It's like the... I'm like, I'm in. You've got me in the door. You've got me in the door. You don't, you don't... You know, I'm not like, I'm not coming in. I'm not coming in if I need to wear all that mask. Carry on if I need to take part in all that. I'm not coming in, I can't be fucked with that. I'm in. I'm sitting down ready to get a haircut. Actual sign on the wall. There's a, there's a sign on the wall that says something like you need to wear a mask. Here's the Scottish government rules and all that. And then there's an, another sign that's like as if it's for them saying... Uh, thank you for abiding by the rules and all that we'll get through this together and all that and these measures must be taken and everything will be good and all that um, and, but, the, but then they've got, they're encouraging me encouraging me to take my fucking mask off they're encouraging me to sit there and possibly cough or they're fucking stuffed you know the stuff that's in front of me like the fucking clippers, the comb or that shit it's mad Just a courtesy. No, I get that they're, they're, they're going like that. Oh, oh don't you, you, you don't need to. Please come back. But I'm I'm here. I'm here. Dum dum. Boom, 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 boom. So see at some point this week what I'm going to try and do is get a game a Dead by Daylight hopefully with Dando who I've not played with and we Claire who I've not played with. I don't know if Sheila would be up for it. That would be good but Sheila's only played three years. Um, we Claire here hasn't played a lot but I get the feeling that Sheila was on it tonight. Sheila likes it off oh, fucking magic good. Because I was wondering if Sheila... Sheila, I, I was wondering if Sheila's the, the, the type of person that Disney want to play the kind of, like... Oh, Sheila, Sheila, you're there, right? Uh, Sheila, I regard you very, very highly um, in terms of gaming and uh, intellectual ability and also one-upmanship. I think you're a... I think you're somebody who likes to partake in one-upmanship a bit like myself. You're shite at all games that I'm just worse. So I thought to myself, maybe Sheila would would prefer to play Dead by Daylight like secretly, privately, and then come out fucking swinging when the training's been done. But um What do you think I'm doing right now, mate? I know, but are you are you know st uh, are you streaming it as well though? It's just that it's a it's a really really good social fuck. You know, very good, very good, very good. But um, but can I just say, Sheila? I don't know. I don't know what it is you're doing exactly. But see, playing against randoms in public games it can really fucking wind you up I mean it really it really, wind, it really winds me up and I'm a pro 
if you don't know what you're doing, you just feel utterly fucking outsmarted. It gets to the point that even if you do well, don't let it, I, right, well, because Dando was getting fucking wound up. Plus the chat are fucking, te the chat and the public ones are terrible. Terrible. So, um, see just using the game. as a means to fucking have a laugh with your digital buddies it's perfect it's absolutely perfect so I was thinking right I don't I don't know Holly says, I hate public survivors, but it's great when you tunnel them to death after a tea bag. Oh, I do that a lot, aye. In fact, I've not done it for quite a while, but I did do it. Marty thinks the sub. Haircuts are belt, aye. Cheers, mate. Squirrel. Enigma Troys thinks the subs and bits. Seems like overkill for the barber to wear an eye mask. Through. Though, though. An eye mask, though. Eye mask. Eye mask. Seems like overkill for the barber to wear an eye mask. <laughs> Megalo, love your work, it's a good one. Uh, I don't quite get it. Sheila, it's going to be magic. It's it's going to be brilliant. Then that's a nice, nice West Coast one. Cammy. Cammy, thanks for 10 month sub. Sorry, what's this? What's that? What do you make of Zaffer Cake slagging your haircut? I don't think that's true. I don't think he would do that. That would be foolish. That would be foolish. Um, I, so, I'm, go, I'm going to try... Uh, we Claire here is quite a busy person, as she says. She's not the sort of person that just happens to be kicking about you up for a game? Aye, why not? Aye, fuck it. I think she's very busy. So you've got to kind of, like, book her in. Um, and the other person I want to get... Soon... Is Ian Cook from Churches. Who's up for it? That'd be good. Um, I did say to him, I said, I said, you've got to come on now. No, 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 Ian Cook from churches, no churches, not a whole lot. Not a whole lot of them on. Um, and I did say to him, I have told people now that you're coming on, so you can't let me down. It'll be humiliating. I said, you have to do it now. I've been telling them like, I, 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 I know people. You know what was dead funny? Um, is he the one as the marshmallow head? No, that's what you may call it. Who did a song with them? What's his name again? Can't remember. Wordsworth. Thanks for the sub. Um, marsh marshmallow. Marshmallow. Um. So I know Ian Cook from churches because we were tweeting each other down again years ago. Like about five, five or ten years ago, I can't remember. Um, and I just happened to mention on Twitter that oh, this fucking power line adapter that I bought, this Wi-Fi power line adapter, you know the ones that you can connect it, uh, the internet through your fucking the electrical fucking sockets. 
if you know what I mean. I said it's no fucking work, a lot of shite. He and he messaged me to say, "Well, I've got some a couple of spare ones. They're no Wi-Fi. You know, they're, you, you, Ethernet, Ethernet cable. Is it Ethernet or Ethernet? You can have that. Maybe more stable." I, I went, "All right." I says, "I we can maybe meet up. You fancy meeting up and." E, Ethernet, Ether, Ether, Ethernet, right, um, so we met up, he gave me the stuff, he gave me the um, power line adapters and we just sort of had a wee chit chat and all the rest of it, and that was that, and then I ended up meeting up with him, uh, I went up to his, and it was really good. I talked about it on here once. I wasn't really up, getting up too much. I wasn't really going at any pals, hussies and den stuff. So it was a nice wee change to go out to somebody's house, play games. Um, You had Twitch on a telly while we are playing games. You had Twitch on a telly on the wall. Um, and... I remember going at Twitch, I don't really, I'm not really into Twitch, just I remember thinking, what is Twitch anyway? What's Twitch all about? Don't quite get it. And we're doing that, we got a curry, and had music on, playing Street Fighter, two big controllers. It's fucking magic, crack night. And I think we did it again. Um, and I was, well, we were talking about things, right? And he... I was talking about comedy or something like that and I, and I said I because I mean that was about I think my first friend show I said I did this friend show the first friend show that I did was 2007 and it was in this wee place called The Stand 2 which is above the main stand round the corner and above the main stand quite a weird quite a wee place like a wee a wee room he went no I know I know I says I asked um I've been there, I, uh, I came, came to the show. I said, you what? He said, I came to the show. He said, I was at that show. My show? When, two, 2007? You came to my first, you, you were, what, you were, this is like before churches, I think. I was like, what, you were in there? You came to my show? 2007? Remember, this was when, when I was chatting to him. This was like 2015 at the fucking latest. I mean, like maybe 2016 or something. I was I was flabbergasted. Not because, oh my God. Oh my God. You're my hero. And you came to my show. But I was like, it's mad. It's mad to... You, you think you just know somebody, but obviously he was tweeting me because he knows of my stuff, right? And I'm tweeting him because I know of his stuff and, the ch and Churchy's stuff, right? But I didn't know it went that far back. So it was it was funny, I felt like going like that. Hey! So you've been stalking me? Hey! I'm leaving. You didn't tell me that. All this, you waited until I was up your house to tell me that you came to my friend show ten years ago. So you, you, so you were watching me. Like, cause see that, see that, see the, see the. Uh, uh, Hold on. See the um see the the stand two. It is a tiny wee room. It's like fifty people. Fifty people. It's like seven rows of seven. Tiny wee room. End up like right there. The people who are in the front row are right there. 
they're like you're practically banging your knee off their fucking head not quite like that but it's right there it's right there um, so if you're watching somebody in there you're dead close to them so so it's mad to think that he was there watching me that close in this dark wee room you can't really see anybody because the lights are off um, and then I'm in I'm in his flat and I'm like you didn't tell me that you know me you didn't tell me that you know me you've known me that much and seen me without me seeing you so you've actually watched me without me watching you I said to him let me out let me out no it's funny I, like, I did say it and that's fucking mad at I said that's, that's, quite, that's quite mad at sort of in a way that it isn't it I just think you should have been like that. We should have we should have swapped documents or essays or like reports of some kind. Um There we go, that's it. To say right, how do you know me and how do I know you? You know, just a kind of uh, disclosure sort of thing. What do you know about me? And and here's what I know about you. Here's how I know you. Here's where I've seen you. So, I so we'll talk about that when he comes on, right? We'll talk about that. Like you know, I, I don't know. If, I don't know if you know. If you know anybody like this, but there's people who. I have met and chatted with and spoken to got on with that they don't know that I actually know them for years ago like Funk the Void hello there and I don't mean you but I think maybe like you know do you know Jim Hutchinson Jim Hutchinson or H Hutchinson for Soma Records or previously for Soma Records Right. Did he ever DJ? Did he ever like DJ did a bit of DJing and say like bars? As well as all that as well as all the other stuff. You see I could, I could I might actually be getting mixed up. He did did a wee club in Queen Street with me. We club on Queen Street. Oh, what one? Don't let me guess. Let me guess. Um, what? It wasn't a um, it wasn't a um, that one downstairs, was it? Oh wait, wait, wait. Reds. I that then became Cube. Or something. Was that the one? I think so. Well, I think I went up to him one night, like years ago, before I actually met him, met him, if you know what I mean. And I went up to him drunk. And I actually said to him, and this is going to freak you out, excuse me, are you funk devoid? This is before I even knew who the fuck you were. This is before I even knew who the fuck you were. Honestly, see back then. See if you had played any funk devoid fucking chat. I wouldn't, I, I wouldn't know. I just heard, oh, there's this uh, DJ guy or somebody mentioned funk devoid. I'm like, I, I know, I know that name. I know that name. And then... I was like, is that, is that him there? I remember asking either him or somebody, I said, are you Funk the Void? And he went, no. I 
I, I think I was that drunk, I can imagine going like that. Are you sure? Crested gecko. Scandy thinks the subs. That haircut is taking 10 years off you. Thank you very much, mate. Marts. And Dr. Owen thinks the subs and bits. Fenny says thanks to three quid. Dear Lim, I wrote you. Right, 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 right. Yeah, uh, open. Uh, problem post office or something. Thank you very much, mate. Fucking bastard. Um, and then I later met him, like say five years after, to the, you know to things that are related to like Soma Records. And I always thought to myself, do you does this cunt know that I've actually I've actually went up to him before. And went like, are you fucked the void? Fucking steaming. Does he remember me? You know how like sometimes you get a second chance to kind of like know somebody in a way? Or you might meet somebody and like you, you chat with them and, and you think to yourself, they don't know. But I remember I used to see them all the time in that pub that I went to and here I am working with them in the same office and they don't know <gasps> that's exactly like that feet scuffer I told you about Kate Cakes thinks of gifting that sub to Crested Gecko by the way I just saw a raid there thank you very much whoever that was but here's a wee twist in the story see that person that I went up to and went a new funk devoid. It might not have been Jim Hutchinson. It might have been just some some other cunt. But I've always thought it was Jim Hutchinson. So I've had it in my head that I've actually met him before, but I might not have. <sighs> the feet scuffer. I told you about the feet scuffer, didn't I? I did. I did tell you about the feet scuffer. It's still a good memory. Really, really good memory. Funk devoid. Brilliant. I'll treasure it forever. I can say to myself, when I'm on my deathbed, I have lived. I have lived a full life. No half measures. Like meet me at my dad's wake. Oh, was that that? Is that what that was? Oh fuck, did you say at the time? I remember I was in there sitting in um, Oren Moor at the kind of left hand side as you come in. Hex is doing a charity stream and nearly already raised a thousand, but I'll be fucking going in there. If she's still streaming about midnight, I will be going into that stream and I, I'm telling you right now, I will be making a sizable donation. I don't like to talk about my charity work. I don't like to talk about the money I get to charity. But I will be making a sizable donation. The feet scuffer. I told you that. Do, do you want to hear that story again, everybody? Bridgie Ben, thanks for the, the 12 and 3 sub. Even let me. This will be your last sub. Wait a minute, what? I've not been here much, but I had to make it to 12 months. Sadly, this will be my last one. Thanks for the many, many laughs, even though you've been horrible to me for the majority. Much love, Baldy. Bridgie Ben, I hope you're not going to do anything silly. And you're just, it's something nice and simple like, nah, fuck it, you're not even here. Budgie Ben. Um, you just know around anymore. You just know here anymore. So it's just basically a, like a waste of money. Jill says, that's sad, and then says, say with us, meaning stay with us, but I like to think that she meant say with us, that's sad, now say it with us, one, two, three, 
the sad there you go there you are find your sad who wants to hear the really really funny foot scuffer um, story squiz Antigone Higgins thinks of subs Big shout out to your mate Mark Dempsey. Moved into his own house. Good luck. Good luck. Um, years ago, where did I hear that? Where was that? Well, was that? Why was that there? Um, well, I can't remember what that was. Years ago, um, let's say when I was about 25. About 2000 and, um, what, but, what was that, 1999, but 1999, I don't know, about then, I was a Flash developer and all the rest of it, right, making websites, I can't remember what it was, but I, I remember, I used to wait, I think, if I remember correctly, I used to get the bus, for some reason, I would be waiting at the bus stop, at Kelvin Grove Art Gallery and Museum. I think it was there. Can't remember why. I think it was maybe during there was like I had a I had a work mate I could be getting all mixed up here, right? But I could be I think I had a work mate whose flat I was looking after for a week or two. So I would sort of and it was kinda of near that bus stop. So I would wait at that bus stop and just get the bus for like about three stops at work rather than walking there because the walk would take about 20 minutes just thought fuck it get the bus and I would sit there and I would hear this cunt walking by scuffing his feet you know dragging his feet dragging his fucking feet In fact, let me take you back even further. I remember being in... This is the, you, you will have heard this story before, right? I went into... Um, nice and sleazy once, one night. And I can't remember who I was with. Maybe just one other person. And there was a guy... It was, it was a kind of like weekday night. It wasn't that busy. And... There was a guy sitting with some lassie at a table, chatting away to her, right? And they're sort of smiling and laughing at each other. He's a good looking guy. I thought, he's a good looking guy. You know what he looked like? And this is going to sound strange. Hello, Jojo. Fucking Ramirez the Night Stalker. Do you know what he looks like? Horrible fucking murderer guy, right? He kinda looked a bit like say you know the you know the you know the boy for you know Kevin for we need to talk is it we need to talk about Kevin? Sorta of a bit like that. Same sort of eye, same sort of hair, same sort of jaw. Good looking guy. And you know, the clays he wore, he was kind of skinny, had that skinny sort of body way, you know that, and um, that was sort of in at the time. If you know what I mean. I thought, look at that man, what a good looking guy. I fucking hate him. 
Um, anyway, I remember watching him going like that, just watching him, and he had a nice smile and everything. Nice smile. Um, I thought, bastard. Fucking bastard, man. This prick's got everything. Um, anyway, so that was that. Didn't see him. Didn't see him again. You know, I didn't see him for like maybe a year or two or three or something. And then I was a web developer and I was looking after, I think I was looking after a, a colleague's house n next, it's kind of near near Old Dumbarton Road, I think it is, near where Firebird, Firebird was, near the art gallery, Glasgow Art Gallery Museum, Kelvin Grove Art Gallery Museum. And I would sit there at the bus stop ready to go to work while I was there. And I would hear this cunt walking by, scuffing his feet, you know, dragging his feet. But like, who the fuck is that? And I would look. You know, you know when somebody doesn't tie their laces that much. You know, so the, the laces are all kind of untied, and 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 he's he had sort of, no pure bell bottom trousers. But you know, he, I looked. It was him. It was him. Hadn't seen him for about a year or whatever. And it was that guy. It was that good looking guy. And he was like walking like that, just like. Oh, no care in the world and I thought oh my god I fucking hate you look at you pure like you know getting a fucking pure easy ozy just I don't really like walk with purpose I just sort of practically don't have any fucking laces just so that the heels of my fucking shoes just scrape along the ground I was like you fucking bastard the next day again I just heard it I was like there he is again the next day, I saw him coming. I was like, I need to hear this. There it was again. I thought I hate this fucking guy, man. I, I bet, I bet everybody, I bet all the women fancy him in the way that he scuffs his shoes. I bet if I scuffed my shoes, they would find it dead unattractive. I bet when he scuffs his shoes, it's pure cool. Oh my god, I hate this guy. I'm such a loser compared to this guy. Um, wait a minute. Where am I? I'm out of fuel, right? Oh my god, I'm such a loser. Um. I think, I think I'll go to a garage actually. Um, so, let me the incel years. The thing was, I wasn't, I didn't feel like that. You know, to be, if you don't mind me being a bit explicit here, I was actually going through a period as you would read in my autobiography. I was actually going through a period of of a a number of sexual experiences that previous pre previously in my life had never never been happening. Yeah, hold on. So it wasn't like oh, um. I don't know, I don't know what it was. I don't know what it was. I don't know what the fuck it was. I think when I saw him in Nice and Sleazy, I was a bit kind of like, I don't know, jealous or something. I think maybe knew it was... Oh, stop, 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 stop. It was the... I don't know, I just didn't like the feet scuffing maybe, but that was that. Anyway, that was that. Um, It's funny. Uh, anyway, um, anyway, so that was about say nineteen ninety nine, and then in about two thousand and four, like about fucking five years later or something, the cul-de-sac in Ashton Lane. I liked that. Funk the void didn't go at the time, but hey, 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 oh. 
Um, I'm in Chunk, the 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 web company that me and Donny, the guy used to what we used to have, and we were asked to like do a website for this other company. You know, we, we would do there would be like say a marketing company or a some one of these other agencies, and they would ask us to do like some game. They wanted us to do a game. I think it was a wee online kind of flash game, right? I went, all right. I went there there for some reason, out of their office, which was kind of nearby in Glasgow. And I go in, who's working there? Who's working there? It's the foot scuffer. The foot scuffer, the fucking Ramirez, a night stalker, pure good looking guy. Foot scuffer cunt. Hi, this is a thingy. It, like he was a designer or something. Hi, this is a. Oh, look at me, look at my fucking hair, man. Just don't touch it. Just, 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 just. Fuck. Um. Hi, this is this is thingy, or something. I was like, oh, hiya, hiya. I was like, does he know? He doesn't know that I know him. I've known him and kind of like hated him for about five fucking years now. Six maybe. Ah, he's he's a cunt I know. And I'm like, oh yeah, oh yeah. Like that. He doesn't know, man. So I ended up working, like, you know, I like emailed him. I just if you just send over those files. All right, right there you go. You know something like that. I'm like, is this a fucking? Can't remember what his name was. I wouldn't say it even if I knew, but I can remember. Um. And then, one of the funny things is, I somehow heard through the grapevine that he didn't like me that like say I don't know I don't think I was making videos at the time but like say he didn't think think my videos were that good or he didn't he didn't you know didn't find me funny or he didn't think our company was that good I can't remember I can't remember what it was right but he had a negative opinion about either me or my company and I just thought, that's fucking mad. This guy that I saw like six fucking years ago just happened to see in like nice and uh, nice and sleazy that I was looking at, kind of partly like sort of jealousy's looks or whatever it was. Um, and then the, the foot scuffing. He's actually got an opinion about me. He actually knows me. He's got an opinion. That's fucking mental. He doesn't know that I know him. He's a part of my fucking... He's a part of the story of my fucking life. He's a, he's a cast member. He's one of the he's one of the cast of my fucking life. He doesn't know it. I might tell him one day, see if I ever see him again. I might, I'm going to tell him. But you know what he'd do? You know what he'd do? You know what that fu fucking foot scuffing bastard would do? He wouldn't really think much yet. Do you know what I mean? He, he wouldn't, he wouldn't, he wouldn't think in it. He'd just be like that. Oh. Oh, that's pretty mad. Hey, that's pretty mad, man. I would want to say to him, No. I want you to laugh. I want you to laugh. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to say, I'm going to say to him, So, so, 
So, I've told you all this. And you don't feel anything. You don't feel any connection to me whatsoever. No. That's insane. You're a, you're a major disappointment, mate. I'm going to say to him, I just thought, I'll say to him, I just thought that maybe me and you, I don't know, could be something, you know, like pals or something, I don't know. What? I just want some kind of end in it, do you know what I mean? That's what I'll say to him. I just want some kind of ending. It just feels like if you just go like that, oh, that's oh, that's quite funny that you saw me years ago and now I'm like somebody. I'd be like, no, no, that's that's not the ending that I want. I, I need it. I need. I need no. I need it to be an ending. Ending. I don't know what you mean. I don't know what I mean, mate. I don't know what I mean either. But do you know what I mean? I just told you I don't. But you get, you get, you sort of get it, come on. I'm away now. You're not going anywhere. You're not going anywhere. I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. It's another one of my wee jokes. Why does nobody fucking get my jokes, man? That's what I'll say to him. What was it you didn't like about me again? That's what I'll say to him. What was it? I, I don't know, I don't, it was a long time ago. Come on, come on, come on, what was it? You didn't like, was it, you didn't like my website or something? You didn't like, what was it? I honestly can't remember, it was a long time ago. What was it you didn't like about me? Or my company? I'm not, I'm not angry with you, just for a laugh, just it'd be, it'd be quite funny if you just told me. Listen, you're really scaring me right now. I'm not, I'm not a scary guy, I'm not, what's so scary about me? I'm not, what's so scary about me? I'm not going to do anything. Fucking hell. Mate, please. Please help me finish this. Finish this story. I want to find an ending to this story. What's the ending? What's the ending? I'd, I'd say I'm gonna 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 break my nose or something. That's what I'd say to him. Gonna like break my nose or something. Just something, something big. And then I'd say to him, you know what, in fact, just leave. Ciao, adios, I'm done. And that's what I'd say to him. I'd say to him. Ciao adios and Ciao adios and I'm saying I'm saying that to him right now in my head by the way. I'm saying that to him right now, everybody. I'm saying it to him in my head. Ciao adios, I'm done. I'm going to walk, see next to him, see him, see if I ever see him again. I'm going to walk up to him, I'm going to shake his hand, and I'm going to say, Ciao, adios, I'm done. I'm going to say it quickly and walk away before he has a chance to even know who the fuck I am. Vampiric Misfit thinks of the sub. Let me, my mate Tom's feeling a bit down, can you give him some words of encouragement? 
Tom, laughter's an, an amazing bit of fucking, uh, amazing bit of kit, by the way. Laughter. Hang about in this stream, and hang about in all these other fantastic fucking streamers here, by the way, because what an amazing place. Spaghetti Des Depressi, Inferno Hockey, Chump, thanks for the subs. Carter, Hungry Housy, Elliot, thanks for the subs. The rattling 20 years later. It is rumoured that 20 years later, he's still in my head, man. I'm going to get drunk and I'm going to go up to him like that. Like sort of dance up, dance up to him like I'm a, like I'm a kind of spurned lover. Spurned. And I've been trying to kind of hide it and no show him that he's hurt me. But that now I've got a drink in me and I'm making an absolute fool of myself. I'm just going to go up to him and go like that. I just can't get you out of my head. Boy, your love is all I think about. Brian, don't get come on away from him. No, I want to tell him. I can't get you out of my head. You're, I'm just going to say to him, you're a hard habit to break. Scary. <laughs> You're a hard habit, eh, Bick? Cunts like that. Who the fuck are you? Who the fuck am I? Come on, I'm me! Holly says, is this how you came up with the stalker sketch? I kind of, I. Thoughts like that, all this sort of stuff I've just fucking said tonight, really make, it really tickles me. It really tickles me. <laughs> you don't have to be mad to do this job, but it helps. That's a lot of rain. Gives me a second. Uh, what's the fucking rain? Where's the, the rain probably? That's quite high. Put it about there. Ciao, adios, I'm done. Let's have a wee look about in the cabin, everybody. Look at that, look. Beautiful. Beautiful back here. Oh, oh, careful. Watch yourself there, pal. Just then we better dance. We better dance all everybody. Just then we better dance all. See if you ask for I can't help falling in love with you by UB40. You get a load of hype bananas. You get this shite version. No, I like that song by the way. Looking bizarrely youthful. Let's have a look at me. Everybody, let's look at me. No, let's let's just have a look at this. What's the scenario here? The scenario is this. I've got a receding hairline. What it means is, I used to have hair that was done there, but through balding, the hairline has come back. It is, I don't mean it's come back, that would be nice if it came back, it is retreated, right? Um, 
Now, I've also got a haircut. Uh, my, my hair, my, my forehead has always been a bit kind of high anyway, right? Um, but that used to be about there. This, you know, I used to have hair there. Um, and so, so I had a haircut. So this is what I look like. This is me, this is me interesting, this is me, this is me being, and you see this, this is me being interested in what you're saying. Listen, I'm going ahead. Uh, I just, my eyes are getting a wee bit nippy. Did I get a lot of sleep last night? I'm going ahead. Are you alright? Is that alright? Do you want to get another one? Do you want to get another one? Am I? No? No, actually, sorry, I shouldn't have said I'll be, I'll be ahead. I'm just so tired. I didn't get a lot of sleep. I just didn't, didn't get a lot of sleep. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Hmm? Hmm. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way. I, I just. No, I was listening, I was listening, but. In fairness, we did stop talking about me. No more bod go. Thanks for the sub. Browser. Tom Woods. Pete. Badger. Priest. And AWAC. Mr. November. Thanks for the subs. Data Slush. Murphy's. Jack Rose. Thanks for the subs. Glad you like the autobiography. <gasps> My girlfriend and I broke up a few weeks ago and now we're locked down together for a month. Your stream is all I've got to get me through. Oh dear. Oh dear. All the best. All the best. Just, just take it easy and uh, have it nice and friendly and just, just, you're both going to be alright after this and you'll be out the other side and I'm gonna read that. I need to read that again. That's like, that's like a fucking, that's like a 
bit in a horror film. I need to read that again. My girlfriend and I broke up a few weeks ago and they were locked down together for a month. Fuck. I, I had to read that again. Jesus fucking Christ. All the best to you and your ex-girlfriend. Don't yawn. You what? I've not been on for. No, no, off. Yeah, where's Dando? Why am I playing fucking Dead by Daylight this week? I'm going to, I'm going to see if I can get Dando. I'm going to see if I can get Dando. We clear here. Sheila, after up for it. And somebody else, but I've no played with Sheila. I played with Dando a bit, but, but she's played at Mare since. And we clear here is brand new yet. And I'm really, honestly, I don't know if this is Weeklear's intention, but I'm really excited and intrigued about, I need to, hold on, I need to read it out. She won't mind me reading this because she actually said it today. I messaged her. Oh, who's this? Excellent. That's one of the devs of Dead by Daily has just messaged me to say that they're just sorting out a few wee things. They're gonna get a wee team together and they're gonna be I'm gonna be playing with some of the devs of Dead by Daily on this stream in the next week or two. There you go. And what I'll try and do is I'll try and ask them interesting questions about so tell us about this bit. Tell us about this. You know, like kind of director's commentary. Um, what, what is it? We clear here. Right. We're done. Here. Here. Tindus and Zero, Ronan, Lunch Break, Tyrone thinks he subs and gift subs, Kezia, Jose Santana thinks he subs and bits. That haircut, by the way, like fucking, you, you with your fucking picture, with your cap and your fucking hood. Get the cap and the hood off and let's see what's underneath that, you cunt. Ricardo and Will Wall thinks for subs. RC thinks the three quid. When you wash your face, how far up do you go? It goes really fucking far. Um, I said to be clear. Twenty sixth of October. This is my first approach. The heroin dealer. You ever up for Dead by Daylight? What a fucking horrible bastard arm. You want a wee bit for free? Um. Then she gets it. Trying it out. Um Right. Right. She said I said when you're up for playing then and she said uh, She said and she's alright I'm sure she's alright me saying this because she said it today in the chat as well. I'm really loud and abusive and sweary. Just warning you, I think people will hate me. And I said to her, 
<laughs> um, hello, hello. Loud and abusive. Fuck, will she fuck me? Will she fuck me, man? But anyway, see when she said that, I was like, I fucking need. I mean, I already wanted uh, to play well, but now I need to fucking see and hear this. Because this is the fucking place. This is the place. But I was reading that again, like, did she just say to me? Like, oh, be warned, kind of loud and abusive and sweary. You know, oh, the chat will hate me. I'm like, fucking what? If you're, if you're not loud and abusive and sweary, you're just, like, fucking, like, you may as well not fucking exist. You're nothing. It's fading into the fucking background. Even, even mild-mannered canster has turned to the dark side. Who remembers canster? Mild-mannered canster? A while ago. Who then remembers canster the day? Um Cancelor, could you could you ready up? Wait. That's listen, that's all I want to create with this place, a community where people Feel comfortable with uh, being really, really rude to me. Uh, so I'm just, I'm just here to serve. That's it. That's what I'm here for. That's my, that's my purpose. You have to serve. Murdoch and magnificent bats. Thanks for the subs. Drive safe. I'm fucking reading your message, aren't I? Think the DV the DBD devs want to license you as a bold killer, bold killer, Melly. Right, right. Go then, dickhead. You want to hold up the road? Go, go then. Uh, well, that's not going anywhere. That's not going anywhere. Love the haircut, Lemmy. You look like you're only 57. Thank you very much. That's so sweet. Nobody's ever said anything like that to me. It's so kind. Let's go round again. May, is it maybe we'll turn back the hands of time? Maybe, no baby. That's what I think this does. I, I was going to say that, um, I can't help falling in love with you, but, um, who is it? A UB40, the odd version. The version that I know, the version that was at number one, I really liked the bass line, right? It goes, it starts with, and it's got this wee intro, and it goes, da, 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 da. and then the bass lines, 
くとくとんとんとくとんとんくとくとんとんとくとんとんくとくとんとんとくとんとん You know it's like that? And then I went, I said, Alexa, play Can't Help Fall In Love With You by UB40. And the bass line is, is this. It's like it doesn't even change. And it's, I'm like, what is, what's this? So I went, to, I, went, I went to the phone and I actually went on to Spotify and I went, right, next one. Same thing. Next one. Same thing. Next one. I'm like, did I just... Um, did I imagine that bass line? I had to go to like the seventh or eighth one done to actually find the one that was actually fucking number one. Hold on, I'll show you. I'm just going to get this one wee snippet, right? Hopefully I don't get in any copyright trouble. Um, you be 40. You be 40. Can't help, right? Fuck off, you're spitting at me, crap, man. Toothless. Local businesses have been there for us this year. It's time we return the love. Just but, leave a Google review. But you're an actor. But you're an actor. You don't work in a tea room. Because Google reviews help local businesses stay strong. But but you're an actor. You don't. You said we. You said us. Local businesses you love with a little help from Google. It's like that's not the fucking baseline. That's not the baseline I know. This is the baseline I know. It goes That's the one I know. That's the one I like. I love that. That's that's what I love about like say you be fought and other kind of reggae things and certain well they're they they're sort of Type. It's got a right fucking. Oh, I've just bought a new keyboard for the win. That costs like fifty quid. Right, where's the preset? Right, accompaniment. Right, stick on reggae. What do you do? Right, so what do you do? It's just got this dead, no effects, no reverb, no echo, dead simple drums, bass. I love that sound. And then it, then it changed it to. Horrible to think that people think that's the song when that's not the song, and really horrible to think that people think. Uh, that this is that don't impress me much. It's not even got uh uh oh. It's not even got that. It's not even got down now now now. Uh uh oh uh, 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 yeah. You have to go to like. Like some other fucking version. That's the version. That's the version. There are people who think that's... Th there are people who think that there. That's... That don't impress me much. That's like... The, that's like... I don't know. The American version or something. But... I know that isn't it because um, maybe it's like the album version or something. Meet Campbell. Thanks for the sub, Maga. A uh, time I meet Campbell like, for a fucking week. Buffalo Part and Ding. Thanks for the subs. No, don't, don't, don't. It's, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I mean, it's no fine. <laughs> it's no fine. Uh, um, 
because there's a country sound that I, 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 may, may, I just picked it up wrong. I just picked it up wrong. Hello, 1030. Down and, oh, so that's right, so they're voting the moron. I untime it, please. Easy breezy, thanks to the sub. I remember the last election in America and the, the, the results came in quite quickly. And I remember saying, like on Twitter, I was like, that's weird. That's mad. They managed to get that quite quickly. I mean, considering how many people there is. And then somebody pointed out to me, I know, but they've also got many people to count. I went, oh, fuck, I right enough. America sounds corrupt as fuck. The things you hear about, the, the cues and all that, and certain places that will vote in a certain way have been having problems with certain things regarding voting. This is me just skimming it in Twitter. Just skimming it in Twitter. I could be completely wrong. But it doesn't just seem like this. You go, you vote. See where I stay? You go run to the polling station. No cunts there. You walk in, you vote, you walk out. How come in a country like America, that's supposedly a world leader, a very wealthy country, Why have they got big fucking queues? And I'm not just talking about coronavirus last time. Why have they got that? Why? It's something you would expect for a country that has been ravaged, it's kind of fucking war-torn, they've got problems with poverty, they've not they've no had the, the time or the resources to build up a big fucking infrastructure. All the stuff that's required for efficient fucking voting and efficient procedures and all the rest of it. No, a country like America that's fucking loaded. The war torn countries are that way because America, not a no of that. But that's got near, that's got nothing to do with why it's happening in America. It's mad. It's mad. It's not official on purpose, I. It's mad how people lower their standards, really lower their standards, as long as you're getting the other side. As long as you're getting them in it. Would you be willing? for this country to be absolutely corrupt as fuck as long as it meant that the people that you don't like are having a hard time they don't get what they want are you willing to put up with the corruption and all that aye yep yeah. I'm not going to come in and say it but aye it's like that So that's the moral. That's the moral. How about that then? Eh? Get our wipers off. Down, no, no, no. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Here, ten thirty. No play dead by daylight for a while, mate. Let me just check the time. How's it going, my man? How are you feeling? <clears throat> oh no, I crashed into a red motor. Oh no, heavens to Betsy. Jens, 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 you fucking said that I'm on a deadline. Oh, you fucking asshole. That's good, that's good, that's good, that's good. That's good. That's good. 
nippy. Thanks for the sub. I'm feeling bad, man. 10.30, you're going to be out. The, what, what, what kind of bad are we talking here? for my own health I'm an old man now you don't know what old is me right, I, I've wrecked this I'm got I'm having a fucking midlife crisis that's what I'm fucking having I'm getting a feeling of death there's death around me impending death Um, and I'm like, right, what are you going to be doing, man? I mean, you're, you're, look, you're looking at the end here. What do you want? You know what I want? You know what I want, troops? So I'll tell you right now. Here's what I want. Wait a minute. How are I doing? I want what they want in every other guy who came over here. Spilled their guts once for our country to love us as much as we love it. How we live, John? Day by day. Eh, okay, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. What time's it? No, I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to be sensible. I'm going to be sensible. Chit chat, everybody, guaranteed, right? Thank you very much for offering. Chit chat. Chit chat, guaranteed trips. We're taking it up to midnight. Self-control. I was playing Overwatch today. Fucking like a couple of defeats. Oh, I did a bit of fucking me ice walling. My own team. My team was sort of disgusting me, so I, I ice walled them in. It was good. I see the fact that the day... What was I doing today? I chat for a wee bit before I play any games. And I was playing that new game. And... Then, uh, Dead by Daylight, and for a lot of that, I don't really get a chance to chat, chat to the chat, chat to use. Uh, oh, what was I said? Uh, you know what I want? You know what I fucking want? Here's what I want. Here's what I want. It's quite simple. It is quite simple, and I said this in my book. I ended my book like this. I just want to laugh. That's what I, I think about various things that I want in my life. And I'll tell you this. See if I'm having a laugh. I don't really care much about anything else. Like, see, let's say I want this thing. But I'm not having a laugh. I think I'd get bored. Well, that thing. But I'm not having a laugh. But see, when I think about having a laugh, but I've no got this, or I've no got that, or you know that would be nice, but that's not happening. I'm hunky dory. I swear to fuck, man. See when Kate threw that fucking axe, missed, and Daz went, ah ha 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 ha. See having that fucking laugh, by the way, it is exhilarating. When I was laughing, at him laughing, you seem to enjoy my pain. It was just fucking, no, it's, it's not specifically you, Kate, but it was you, if it's like 10.30, if he comes in, 
as long as somebody it was, it was fucking excellent I thought he was going to fuck up I thought he was going to fuck up but no he was just taking a taking a big risk disaster it was just it was lovely and I'm forgetting I actually I'm just remembering right now you, you're fucking good at the Huntress so you're taking on you're, that's a Huntress via Huntress that's like me when I go up against another Zarya it's like an Overwatch is horrible being beaten by your own character if you're a tracer or something and another tracer gets you you'd be like you bastard that's that's the better tracer in this game they're better than me completely matched Limit is a Cenobite. Beru and Concam, Radar dies for us thanks to subs and bits. What if John was actually living dead? What if... What if John was actually living dead by daylight? Dead by dead by de dead dead by daily dead by daily right it's there day by day dead by day I get it I get it I get it I get it uh, Nola says I hope no cunt is taking this teabagging shit into public games and lolling to themselves like utter shit bags now let me just say this to you I've not done that for a while they cunts in the public game started it. I didn't even really know what teabagging was until, let's say, five years ago. Where did I first see it? I can't remember. It happens all the bastard time in Dead by Daylight, so I'm just like, I'm doing it. Fuck a lot of them, I'm doing it. Um, and another thing, a shite bag, if you don't mind me, um stone in my ground here in terms of what part of what's, what certain bits of part I mean a shite bag to me is a coward or a scaredy cat or scared person no somebody who's like full of shite or that shite by the way I've heard people saying that or thing he's an absolute shite bag and I'm like what how how are they a shite bag you're a shite bag like you've shat yourself ah ah you fucking shite bag yeah hell whiskers thanks for gifting that sub to Bakersfield, Illinois. Bakersfield, Illinois. Mind that no teabag Michael or Death Slinger just get out. Eh. Death Slinger, no. But Michael? Nurse, nurse maybe, if you're too far away. Stage three, Michael. Well, as long as you, as long as you're next to the, you're next to the exit. As long as you're next to the threshold. You get stabbed, you you fall, on, you fall on the ground, you crawl out. I never do a kind of. I'm going to never do a kind of. Oh, I'm going to teabag in that sort of, one hit. I'll take a hit and then I'll just keep doing it. Can I believe misused? No one escapes death. It's a useless perk anyway for somebody like me because I never let people get to the gates, man. Never, I never let them get that far. 
Not I. Not I, said the sparrow. Do you know what I mean? What's that? Nothing. Flagstaff. Look at the people walking about, look. Zombies. Dale. That's a song. What about Lady of Ice? A Lady of Ice. Ban Bob Russell, please. Thank you. Keep the driving, man. Job market, freight market. Aberdeen. Roswell. How far is that? Daddy would like to go to Roswell. Hell, Whiskers thinks the, th the three quid. Since you can't even truck without thinking about Dead by Daylight, why not play that instead? Fucking hell. Um, because I'm going to go to bed at a nice, normal, normal-ish time, midnight. And then when I go to bed at mid midnight, I'm really not getting to sleep till about half twelve, one, because I kind of look at, like looking at my phone and all the rest of it. Do you know, I'll tell you something, everybody. I'm in the right seat. I'm in the right line of work. I have just fortunately got myself in the right line of work, which is this, because I'll tell you, see last night, see me, I'm the sort of cunt who checks his phone all the time, loves attention, loves being a bit of an exhibitionist, loves talking about himself, loves social media, social media, social media, then things, what do you think, I'm going to say this, see the reaction, say this, see the reaction. I love being on here, I love chatting away, yapping away, love doing it. Uh, there's people who don't. There's people who don't. Let me how you feeling at this exact moment. Just kind of... It's quite good. Wee bit tired. Dave Abbott Music thanks for the sub. New haircut is looking good. Thanks, mate. I appreciate that. I know we're doing and I appreciate it. It's really, really kind of you. King of Time thanks for 513 sub. Here's your cut of my pay for staying in, sitting on my summons. Yes, man. Thanks. Look, thanks for 200 bits. In hospital recovering from. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't. By the way, have you actually seen my truck? It's like it's got Santa Torbjorn on it. Ladies and gents, if Pink Hexagon is still on at midnight, uh, we will be raiding her. She is doing a charity stream for a local Glasgow, um, I can't remember what it is, like kind of maybe a community centre or some, some sort of youth 
kind of club thing, something like that. We'll be heading there, there, I'll tell you that right now. Um, and also, everybody, I have ordered the services of Pink Hexagon, her video editing services, to create me at her standard video edi editing rate one video that lasts 2 minutes and 20 seconds so it could get fitted into Twitter of the Rexit final ending story of Rexit the horse I said could you please include the following plot points I didn't quite word it like that, but I just said notable things. Um, because she's she's no sitting just watching my fucking stream all the time. Um, notable things are me saying that um, I looked up a thing saying there's this really good fast horse that you can capture and sort of like tame um, that's up in the mountains. I'm going to go and get it. And then uh, that's that will be the new horse. It's faster than Rexit. It's got more stamina than Rexit, and all that. Um, and I said, I, I said, so there's that. There's me putting it to the vote. What should happen with Rexit? Like, do you want me to kill Rexit? Do you want me to put Rexit in the stables, which will, will just fucking sit there, like having a fucking slow death? Sell it. It could be a bad person. All is the original plan. Kill it. Kill, kill Rex it. Uh, in a in a nice way. And then I, I said, "What happened?" Anyways, I, I took just in case you don't know, I took Rex it to the edge of a cliff. Um, but she was enjoying a lovely view. I went really far away. Took up my sniper rifle. Aimed. Wouldn't let me shoot. The game wouldn't allow me to shoot my horse. Maybe I had to take the saddle off or something like that, I don't know. But it wouldn't let me do it. So what I ended up doing... No, it wasn't it. It was just a horse that I owned. I ended up... Um, so I went away with a new horse. This white horse. Went to a post office with all my money to pay off my bounties I left my white horse outside everybody went Lemme you've left your horse on the train track because the train had come and had left I went oh, it'll be fine I went out the new fancy horse was lying next to the fucking train track deed Like, within, within about fucking, like, quarter of an hour of me just fucking getting it. Rex had lasted me for pretty much the whole fucking game. And then, so I was like, well, what is that? And I thought, right, get me out of here. I thought I was going to reload, but I went, wait a minute. And I, and I uh, pressed the whistle button. Rexit came running down for the hill. Rexit came running down. And I thought, look at Rexit. Here, all this fucking time. Good old trusty Rexit. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to reload. I'm no going to reload. That's right, that's what I said. I said, Rex, it. it's always been you. It has always been you, Rex. It. You're the one. And I didn't reload. That horse that I took ages to go up to the mountains to get and then taking my time to go up and tame it and the fact I was reading about it the night before. 
you know what? Don't want you. Don't want you back. It's always been Rexit. I And then I binned the game. That's right. What a lovely story that Pink Hexagon has got the, the job of fitting somehow into 2 minutes and 20 seconds so it can fit into um, Twitter. And that's who we're going to be visiting when we do the raid at midnight. I'm still in talking about Rexit mode and that's who we're going to be visiting after the stream. Midnight zigzag thanks to the three quid. Chucking the tip because I just got paid thanks to the laughs and content has kept me optimistic through the last few weeks. Happy bloody birthday. Thank you very much, mate. Glad it's fucking keeping you tip top. Um, Irish Brian, if you pay Twitter money, like if you get like an advertising account with them, I heard there's a trick that you, you, you do. You, you get in touch with them saying you want to do some advertising, like, you know, promoted videos. You get, you get in touch with an actual human. Like, you know, like, a thingy manager, your, your account manager or some shit like that. And you say that, and then you can then you can do that, but you never actually spend any money. So I was going to do that, I was going to do that, and like, I don't know, either no spend any money or like spend money once to then forever get you know be able to upload like 10 minute fucking videos <sighs> why don't you embed from twitch or directly from youtube um well it's just that it's just a, a case of convenience really Let's say somebody's on Twitter, they can watch a video that's in Twitter. Less chance of them going like that. I can't can be fucked with that. Um, I don't know, maybe some people have got the, the, the feeling that they're physically fucking leaving. They're having to like get their Jake on and get an umbrella on and they walk out the door of Twitter and walk all the way for 20 miles out of fucking YouTube. Less views because people need to click through exactly. People just go like that, ah, oh, fuck that. An umbrella on, so I'm just a, I have an umbrella. The compression of your direct uploads to Twitter is shit fucking, isn't it? And I think Twitch used to be, Twitch Clips used to be, um, I think Twitch Clips used to be almost like Instagram, where whether you were just looking at, at it in a kind of scroll sort of mode, you know, timeline type of mini version, or whether you clicked on an actual tweet view, if you know what I mean, both of them were like um, Instagram, just a link. I could be remembering it wrong though. Whereas now, as you're scrolling through the timeline, it's still like that. It's just like a link to some Twitch thing. You don't actually see the, the thumbnail. But if you click on the, the the tweet, then you at least see the thumbnail. And the good thing is there, at least, they'll go to watch on Twitch, I suppose, which gets the view count up, so that if anybody is interested in looking at clips across Twitch by views there's maybe more chance of them I don't know not getting popular I don't know how many people do that I doubt it I doubt there's that many but I think if it was a really good wee clip let's say two minutes and it was good maybe I would just stick it on YouTube and link to it that's what I'm going to do actually Because that way I can send people from Twitter to YouTube. Um, they can then follow us on YouTube. And also, you can monetize the video. And the more popular the video is, 
the mayor likely it is going to be recommended and things like that. Can you believe that video of me sitting in an aeroplane saying with, with the title My bus started flying has got over a million views? Stephen, thanks for the sub. Luke, thanks, for, thanks again for the two and a bits. Lucky man, thanks for the sub. I, I've not really gone into Venture Resolve yet. I started with it and I was just trying to um, change the keys, the shortcut keys to one or two wee things and I wasn't quite able to do it quick enough and I had to quickly go on to something else. Isn't it so difficult to monetize YouTube? Aye, and it's... You've got to have lots of views and lots of videos to actually start making a decent amount of money. That's my lorry. Red lorry, yellow lorry. Lorry Strode. Peter lorry. Yes, master. Do you know he's addicted to opium? You just wanna know who Peter fucking You just wanna know who Peter Laurie was, man. You wanna know Peter Laurie if he came up and smacked you right in the face. A lot of Laura laughs. A lot of Laura laughs. Isn't it brilliant that we all found out that Silla Black wasn't that nicer person? Remember that remember that picture of refusing to leave a restaurant seat? Remember? That, uh, that um, Cold War. What is that again? Cold War what? Cold War Steve or his in every fucking picture he's got. Silla Black. She was a lover puddling English telepresenter for the 80s, she was originally a singer. Um, Silla Black Restaurant Picture. Is that it there? There it is. Is this the original fucking tweet? Is this the original one? 15th of September 2014. I met Silla Black. This is after she died. I met Silla Black once. She sat at a table I'd reserved and refused to move. Her spiteful arrogance was astounding. <laughs> Wait a minute. 666 retweets. That is fucking brilliant at that face look. Actually taking a picture of Got like that. Now I'm not moving. But we've booked us. I don't care. I mean I don't know I don't know how she said it. And uh So no Cold War Steve Who does all these fucking pictures has always got somewhere in it. Somewhere here, 
almost like where's fucking Wally? Silla. Yeah, hold on, view image, right? View image. I'm going to take me away for a wee second, right? Somewhere here. So there's there's always there's there's always Steve. Uh, well, what's his name? Grant Mitchell. No, Phil Mitchell. And it's always like the whole politics stuff and all the rest of it. Um, somewhere here is Silla. Somewhere here is Silla. There. 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 Is that a there? Is that a there? I'm not sure. Can you see her? You can't believe you've seen this. He does about one a day. Cold War Steve. Fucking brilliant. He does ton. He does tons of them all the time. Where is she? Is she at that window? There. What we're, what we're looking for that picture of Silla Black. You just saw her? Above, above Rishi? Where? Is that in there? What the fuck is she? Top right of the cross? Is that her there? I don't think that's all. It kinda looks like her, but I don't care. Where is she? Where is she? Did they, did anybody? She might not be in the windy. Windy might be too obvious. She's not in this one. Ah, she might not be. You no, know, some there's there's the very rare occasion occasion when she's not actually in it. Like, let's see. Right, let's say this, right? Right, let's say this one here, right? Where's Scylla? There she is, there she is. She's right there. That picture. See? She's in she's in pretty much every fucking one of them. So it's all like political stuff, it's um it's all kind of stuff against Trump and Boris Johnson, just all this fucking insanity. Um like this was this is because of all the big fucking cues that were predicted. Right, you've always right, so you've always got kind of like said some of that, that lot, right? That I thought is that her there, right? But I think I remember this one. She's actually One last one, right? It's just brilliant because I'm like that. I like the pictures, but I'm all... I'm all that's not her. That fucking is her. Uh, is she in that one? She might not be in that one. Hold on. Uh, 
Where are we sent? Where are we sent? Where are we sent? See, I don't want I don't want to waste time looking for us, I mean oh. Looking out the window where? You, you don't mean that, do you? You don't mean that, do you? No, I know that's not hard, but they might be looking at it on a dead small screen. No, no, for God's sake. No, she's like always, it's like, it's not like fucking, but that's this thingy. Eh. Uh, don't know, just forget about that one. Like this one here, right? This one here. That's a good one, this. Now that they know he's on his fucking way out. There's them begging to Biden. No. And he, by the way, the whole thing, the reason why it's called Cold War, Steve, is Steve McFadden, the actor who played um, Phil Mitchell, is always in them. But where's Scylla? That almost looks like her. Where's Scylla? Sometimes she's actually in like a wee graphic. Sometimes she's in a wee graphic. Up at all, up at all. That's what's his name. Eh. Uh, where is she? Where is she? That's not her, by the way. That's not her there. Can I see her there? Can I see her there? I can't see her. Can you see her? Scylla, your woman's right arm between, your woman's right arm between, what's that? Your woman's right arm between Biden. Oh fuck, there she is! There she is! Fucking brilliant. So, that person is... I'll just switch that back on. Cold War Steve. Twitter. Twitter username is Cold War underscore Steve. 282,000 followers. There we go. All based, well, that just comes for that. I met Scylla Black once. She sat at a table I'd reserved and refused to move. Her spiteful arrogance was astounding. This is, this is after the woman's fucking died. You know, you, you heard, this is, you heard all these... All these kind of stories came out after she died. You know, she was always like nice, nice, presenting a surprise, surprise, and blind date. And then you heard these stories about how she was fucking horrible to like um, airplane staff, you know, or, th or them. Horrible to them. Um, fucking crying. Uh, didn't think Nicola Sturgeon would give Sean Connery such praise. It's disappointing. Because I saw I saw a few people. You see, you see, 
he basically said, aye, it's alright to hit women. And then, and then he was dug up about it later, like years later. What do you think about that thing you said years ago? He's like, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I did it. Mm -hmm. Do it again. Um, yeah, I've not changed my mind about it like that. And, he's, and he never later on said, listen, I watched that interview with horror. I don't know who I fucking was back then. No, they know that. And, and so, uh, I, I, I know some people on Twitter, some women, there's one, one woman that I follow, um, and she's like pure into the SNP and all that, and retweets Nicola Sturgeon a bit. And she retweeted some woman saying, this is a big kind of, shout out in a way to all the survivors of domestic violence who are fucking horrified at the whole you know this uh, or the adulation for Sean Connery with no a mention all that stuff as if once you get at a certain threshold of like your talent being recognised once you get at a certain threshold of popularity, then fuck it. There's no, there's no, you're beyond criticism now. It, it then becomes a minor blip. It then becomes just a wee, in fact, see if you, see if you bring up the fact that they think it's fine to say that domestic violence is fine. If you bring it up, you're the bad one. You're the asshole. Like you've brought it up when the guy's died, and that's fucking out of order. But so it's it was it was interesting to see that person who who she she re, retweeted that a, a person you know like sympathising and just sort of like a kind of shout out to anybody who's been affected by domestic violence and kind of disgusted with people going like that, you know, fucking fawn air themselves just like, oh, Sean Connery's such an amazing guy, amazing, amazing guy such an amazing guy um, yet that same person also kind of retweets Nicola Sturgeon a lot, I, vote, I voted SNP and I would vote for him again and everything but um I thought that's interesting. I wonder how you reconcile the two feelings. The fact that Nicholas Sturgeon's went pure on about brilliant national treasure, brilliant guy and everything. Um, it's funny, isn't it? It's funny. Basically what it comes down to is this. We will praise him and say we will only bring that up. We will not bring that up because... He's a good actor. He's good looking. He's dead famous. That's about it. Really famous. Good actor. Um, and good looking. So, but pretty much, you can, you can shove your complaints up your ass, basically. And if you did mention any of that that stuff, you're fucking, you're the bad one, you're the bad one. One, thanks to 243 bits, thank you very much. Jamie, thanks to 200 bits, Jamie, thanks to 201 bits. Cam Butch and Flair Guy, thanks for the subs, hello Mexico. Ross Kithcart, Jamie, Ted Thomas, thanks, thanks for the subs. So, it's just interesting to see, it's interesting to, with, with, with any sorts of things like this, where somebody has been an unrepentant advocator, if there is such a word, of domestic violence, to be praised that much by Nicola Sturgeon, who I like. 
and praised so much by other people, you, you can understand your fucking... It's, it's weird, it's weird. I like Alfred Hitchcock. I like Alfred Hitchcock films. I like Alfred Hitchcock's kind of personality and when he's speaking and things like that. Yet, I also know he was a, a sexual, like, I don't know. I don't know if it was sexual assault, but just sex, sexual fucking pest. Sexual harasser. Ruined Tippi Hedren's career because she wouldn't fucking shag him, basically. So it's funny how you can sort of hold these two wee things in your mind. And with other and and the other ones you can't. It's weird. It makes me think about myself. I go like that. How come I can sort of live with that? How can how can I sort of live with that? Yeah, with this one, I can't. But with this one I can't. And this one I can. And this one I can and this one I can't. Does it really come down to the level of talent? See if you're no interesting enough to me. Am I willing to know, if you're no interest enough to me, they, they go, I'm sorry, but your abilities, your talent, Disney, um, you're no talented enough, in my eyes, for me to kind of no care that you're a fucking abuser. Is that really how fucking shallow I'm? Is that how mad I'm? Photogenic chain, thanks for turning bits. Thank you very much. I just you know, I just I just wonder what Sid Nicholas Sturgeon's real feelings are about it. Surely she must be must have been thinking. Should I put in a wee something like although not although a very flawed individual, you know, was 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 she thinking about maybe saying something like that? Although deserving. Smart casual, give, give smart casual a time out for a few days, please. Typical nippy. I fucking hate that bar. How is she, that, that nippy, see nippy, everybody in case you don't know. See nippy, see, see here in Scotland. See if somebody's at a wee nippy wee sweetie. A nippy wee sweetie. Um, well, a sweetie, you know what fucking sweetie, nippy wee sweetie's like, can I, oh, kind of hot or something like that it's like a way of saying that somebody's got a wee bit of an attitude on them a wee wee oh a nippy wee sweet of the day and it, it, I don't I don't really know I don't think I've heard any men or boys being called nippy wee sweeties it's a kind of what you say to women like that oh, the nippy wee sweet of the day. Come on, what's the matter? He's a, he's a smile hen. The nippy wee sweet. So people say it about Nicola Sturgeon. Because she's a woman. In a way that they would... I, I don't... See, I feel, I feel like an arsehole for saying all this because every cunt fucking knows it. And I feel like I'm saying stuff that everybody already know, everybody already knows and everybody already agrees with. And I feel like I'm just kind of showing everybody that I know about all these fucking things. That's what it feels like. But there actually are cunts who, like six month subscribers, who are saying things like, ah, we nippy, nippy, nippy. Really, I really don't like it. Really don't like it. I preach into the choir, but there are still people who are like six month res resubs. Let me stop being, stop being nippy. Yeah, that's it. Come here, you, you can't. Try, try to catch you. Try to scroll up. You take a, you take a wee uh, 24 hour time out. Right, come on. I'm not here to just start banning and timing it, but come on, please, please let's no be fucking assholes. Um. What was I talking about anyway? I so I thought she'd maybe say something, you know, I thought maybe she would say like um deserving deserving on 
absolutely deserving of criticism for some of his past remarks of something he he was although in terms of his acting at an absolute tour de force something 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 but maybe I don't know it's weird it's weird that she didn't even address it maybe to address it is to get like anger for, for certain people certain voters but is she really that fucking shallow or maybe she's thinking I can't partly I can't like criticise him and then say right I was really bad what he did but 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 I mean come on so weird it's all about optics with politics I Scalpy Sports thanks for the sub look Barnett's look marvellous thanks I'll have it all, I'll have it all done for you the more right it will be done and it'll look better Anyway, she could have put the word controversial in there. I think no matter what she would have said, it wouldn't have been enough. Because see, we see controversial. Controversial is like a controversial artist. I think people would say, no, it's not controversial. You need to say, I can imagine people just going like that. You need to say what it is, Nicola. I voted for you, and I thought you were into this sort of stuff. Obviously, you would be. Surely, with being a woman and being close to these, closer to these issues, with them being mad on your mind in some sort of fucking ignorant, blinkered man, you would want to say something. Say it. Say what he was. Say what he was. But maybe she just think that fucking canny. Maybe I don't know. Maybe she just think that canny. I canny. Guys just died. I've got to say something. I kind of just go. Oh, have you seen what Sean, seen that Sean Connery's did? So. So it's strange. It's interesting to see how people tiptoe in it. Kate Cake says so many dicks right now. Deal with it. Please deal with them with the full force of the the stream law. Um Anyway, let us know. What was that? What's that there? So that's my phone. Um, right, so what we're going to do, troops. Is. Now can I just say, Chris a bit, Kia Cakes, are you here? Well I know you're here. Um, I use mods and pink hexagons as well. Yeah. You sent me a text? What? Push. Oh no 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 no! Oh no 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 no! No. Uh, James, it wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't you. I got told. I got told about that. By the way, you just don't know what I'm talking about. I got told about some somebody else, and I had the feeling that other things were happening and all that. No 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 no. Didn't know you were on stream, so so I looked. Oh no no no! All right, no no. Concrete roads, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much, mate. Travs and souls and thanks for the subs and three quid. It's not in your business. Thank you very much. Uh, Hell whiskers, thanks to three quid. Uh, I'll, I'll make a prediction, a, 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 a kind of sad prediction. I predict that Trump will win. I predict that Trump will win. 
I don't I don't want him to win, obviously, but I predict he will because this is there's something fucking mental going on. There's something mental going on. Something's no right. Oh, I, I was gonna, I was gonna say, uh, if your mods in pink hexagons stream, please, um, you already know anyway. When I do a raid, we're gonna probably be taking quite a number of assholes. L, with so, uh, obviously naturally, please get ready. To, and I mean, obviously, you're the mods in her stream. I'm not talking, you know, I'm not saying do this thing when you get there, I'm using mods in your own right. And her stream, I'm just saying, you know, just reminding you to get the machine gun out. You know, you know what happens, you know how, you know how there are people here, I'm not that bad, disaster, what a fucking dodge by the way, I know that's, that's not what you're talking about, but I was just thinking about it again. Um. You know how like there's people who watch my stream who got banned ages ago like pure arseholes yet for some reason like to sit here and watch me. And then we go to somebody else's stream where they're no banned and they're like oh yes yes yes. Uh, you can just get them banned like he's getting tired man. Right. Listen. Ultra Cam thinks it's three quid. I put 50 quid on Trump to win because he at least some ice. Something good will come for it if you put a vote on. Um, bet on. Sniff Weegis, Mr Sean Connery. Uh, concrete roads, thanks for the subs. Jurassic Lemons, thanks for the tenor. Photogenic Chain, thanks for the tuna bits. Epiget, thanks for gifting us sub there. Thank you very much. Troops. I am going to. We're going to go for a raid at the Pink Hexagon, who's doing a charity stream. I'm going to be back on the morrow as in the day, as in Tuesday, at half nine, 9.30 a.m. GMT. Oh, fucking eyes. We're going to be playing some teardown. We're going to get that teardown fucking level done, right? JMP, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. 24 months here till you kick the bucket on stream. It'll be you first, mate, believe me. I'm cycling every day, pretty much. Unless it's fucking pouring down its windy as fuck and it would actually kill me. Cycling every day. Healthy. Fine. Don't drink, don't smoke, don't take any drugs. You're a goner. I'm fine. I at all, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. God, my eyes, I feel pure tired. Ladies and gents, thanks for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. Hello to any new followers and mods, thank you very much for fucking taking care of all that. Richie, thanks for the sub. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, are you doing No Nut November with Nay Wanks for the whole of November? Please. Do you know who you're talking to? See you later.